right when I get to the fishing spot, it starts to snow. Are you serious? Look at this. It's literally starting to snow. Not very much, but... Now you guys saw the title, so you probably know that we're going to be fishing with some canned corn today. And there's still people out there who think using corn is illegal. And granted, it was for a long time, at least where I'm at. But it's been legalized for years at this point. But every once in a while, you'll get a comment saying that fishing with corn is illegal. Couldn't be farther from the truth. So I'm just rigging up here. I'm going to keep it ultra, ultra simple. I'm fishing this little creek today, so just got a little hook with a little split shot and some four pound line. So we all know that you can catch stock trout on just about anything. I've caught them on marshmallows, Play-Doh. It's not too hard. So we know that you can catch them with corn, but the trout in this creek are wild cutthroats. So they're gonna be a lot more, you know, trickier to catch. So we're gonna see if we can catch them with some corn. So just got a few kernels right there and I'm just gonna totally cover this whole hookup, put as many on as I can, which is only about three. Well, maybe four. All right, so I've got four kernels of corn right there. We've got a deep, slow-moving pool right here. There's a little beaver dam. This should be a good spot where a lot of the fish can stack up at. First drop in, let's get a fish. Okay, so strike one at this spot. Didn't see anything, didn't get a bite, nothing. The water is super, super clear right now, which means they're gonna be more sensitive, Okay, I want to just tell you guys that GoPros are the biggest pieces of trash ever and to never buy one. They just die all the time, like randomly for no reason in the middle of talking. Like I charge them up and they say they're at 100% and then you unplug them. You charge them for like five hours, unplug them and they drop all the way down to like 20% and you can use them for like 10 minutes before you have to put in a new battery. There's been so many times when I want to yeet this literal piece of trash into the water and I'm not about to go to the store and buy another $600 GoPro, just probably gonna do the same kind of crap. <sighs> anyway, what I was trying to say, no fish from this spot. The water is super, super clear. So that's gonna put the trout on a lot more high alert. A few weeks ago when the snow was melting, the water was a lot murkier. And for whatever reason, that makes the trout more aggressive. They can't see you as well. And they're pretty much gonna chase down anything you throw at them. But I don't know, since the water is so clear, I guess they just are a little more picky. And by the way, guys, we're using the head mount today because I seem to have misplaced my chest mount. Can't find the freaking thing, so we're just rocking with this, even though it's uncomfortable as all heck. And also, I took the split shot off. I don't know, I just feel like it was sinking too quickly. Oh, there was a bite, I think. Oh, yep. I just saw him come out and get it. Oh, he came off. Shoot. Well, first blood, that's a good sign. Are you kidding me, dude? Casted right in that freaking tree. I didn't even see it. If I lose this hook, I'm gonna be so mad. I don't even have that many hooks. Literally, there's nothing I can do. Goodbye. Good job. That was nice. This is really dangerous. We're gonna go for it. All right. Woo. There's a bite. There's a bite. Oh, oh my gosh. How do you get all the way over there? Fish on, oh! You've got to be kidding, right there. Oh, how? I literally let him eat it for like a minute and he started all the way up there and somehow wound up down there. Gosh, how did he not get hooked? There we go. There we go. First fish on corn. Nice. Yeah, we're going to keep this guy. Ooh, there we go. Look at that fish. That is a good looking trout. Nice, just hooked right there on the corner of the mouth. Usually we let the first fish of the day go, but you know, it's looking like fishing is a little tough and uh, we only have a few more hours, so 
we're not letting this guy go. So yeah, you can catch these wild trout with corn. I would say it's definitely not as effective as worms, obviously, but nice trout. Really, really dark colors too. All right, I'm gonna dispatch him. Get us a stick. There we go. All right, rebait it up. Let's see if there's another one down there. Oh, there was one, shoot. Oh, he picked it back up. Yep, he's got it, he's got it. Do I have him? Oh, shoot. Okay, so I'm not using the head mount anymore. It's uncomfortable as all heck and I can't get the angle right, so I'm just gonna prop y'all up somewhere. All right, so I found a bobber just laying on the ground here. Thought I'd throw it on. Gosh. Oh. I was about this far away from having my camera go in the water and it breaking. My microphone, the camera, everything. Dude, it literally fell and landed right there. Oh. All right, so just check the footage. My GoPro died. Literally the second I hooked into this guy, finally caught another fish and I didn't even get it on camera. But I think we're just gonna let this guy go. Got him on the corn again. As you can see, the snow's starting to come down a lot worse. I don't know how much longer we're gonna be able to be out here. I also kinda wanted to make a fire, but uh, I don't know, man. There we go, finally. On the corn again. I actually watched this guy come up and grab it. That was pretty cool. He really wanted it. Third one of the day. Oh my gosh, I didn't throw him. I didn't, I didn't release him like that. I tossed him from a foot in the air, so he's dead now. All right, so we're gonna take a break from fishing and build a fire, and then we're gonna cook that fish we kept. And since I didn't bring any firewood or lighter fluid, this is gonna be kind of hard, so I just gotta see what kind of crap I can scrounge up to start a fire. Okay, so I found some napkins in my truck. Grab a bunch of this stuff. This stuff should burn pretty well. All right, so I just gathered up some dead sagebrush and tumbleweeds. Hopefully this will start up. It's so freaking wet out here. Those gas station napkins come in handy. So the snow finally kind of stopped. It's been kind of, you know, comes and goes, but it seems to be okay right now. You know, I'm really surprised that I was able to make a fire out here. Like there's really no firewood. It's just old sagebrush limbs that I'm using and they were all covered in snow. So I'm surprised they got this fire going. It's also nice because it's pretty dang cold out here and this feels really good. Mm. Kind of fried the tail in the fire. Charred trout tail. actually do have a lemon. Tastes pretty good to me. Not bad for being cooked over one of the worst fires I've ever made. Well, the snow's starting to come back a little bit. Gosh, I wish it would just snow or not snow, but it's gone back and forth like four times. Putting our fire out and everything. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. You can catch fish on corn. I know that's pretty much the most obvious statement ever, but we did it today. I don't think it works as good as worms, obviously. We only caught three or four 
I think only three. We could have caught a lot more, but we didn't fish a, a whole lot. And I just think, you know, the bite was kind of off today. But the nice thing about corn is it's really, really, really cheap and you get tons and tons of bait. And everyone has a can of corn laying around in their pantry or whatever. Ironically, I didn't have one, so I actually had to go buy this can of corn, but you know, usually you do. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, go down there, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. And guys, I'm actually working on maybe possibly coming out with like some t-shirts or something. You know, nothing too crazy, just kind of, you know, as an extra way that some people can support the channel, I guess. So let me know in the comments, if I were to come out with like a t-shirt or something, would you buy it? Obviously it depends on how it looks, but just let me know if any of you would be interested in that. Probably not. And let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. Spring is on its way. Can't get here fast enough. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.